Friends, I'm going to show you today how to get video off of your iPhone 7 if you're using Movie Pro software, which is my favorite program for recording uh, video. It gives you more capabilities than what you would get with the standard iPhone recording uh, for video. So I'm going to plug my iPhone into the back of my Mac here, and it should bring up automatically uh, iTunes, and it does. Let me resize this where it's going to fit the screen a little better. So I'll pull this over. So if you've bought Movie Pro and you're mystified about how to get your video off of it and start editing, what you'll do is when you can hook your iPhone 7, I'm using an iPhone 7, I guess it's the same with iPhone 6, but if you click this little thing right up here that shows your iPhone, you'll, uh, this will, it'll bring this up and there'll be various different things that could happen. I've got some, you know, you can back and check your restore and all that, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on apps. And when you click on apps, it takes you a second or two. You try to, you, you, sometimes you'll try to scroll down. It won't scroll down. You might have to wait a second or two, but there it shows your Movie Pro. So you click on that. I try, I try clicking on the icon. I think you have to click in here. Maybe it's, maybe it's either way. I don't know. And here are some videos that I've recorded. There's a couple of them I recorded yesterday and some that I've recorded today. So I'm going to go ahead and save these somewhere. So what you do, I'm going to click the top one. I'm going to hold my shift key down. Go down, to the, go down to the bottom. Now, if I just wanted to take like one or two or three or whatever, I could I could click on one. I could hold my command key down, and then I could pick different ones. But I'm gonna go ahead and get all of them, and then I'm gonna say save to, and this is where you're allowed to go ahead and set up a location where you're gonna save to. And I, I had this um, place here yesterday. I'm gonna go to my Extreme 500, which is a SSD. I'm gonna do new folder here, and I'm gonna say. 2017-07-23 that's today I'm gonna to say uh, just just video and, and I'll, I'll change what this is called I can't remember what I've shot today it's several different topics I've shot I'll say create and I click save to and you know the only way you can you can, you can gauge where the save to is going on is, is up here um, I mean, you can you can open that folder up and you can watch it happen. Usually, now right now it's saying it's backing up. So I, I started this during. The, here we go, copying files. So it does switch eventually, or maybe you're 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 doing your backup or whatever first, and it switches over to this. But it will tell you how many of these are being copied. Now, over here, I can see my Extreme 500. I'm going to pull it back off the screen for a second. I'm going to double click on it. You know, I'll get down here to the just video, and I can see these going in, so I can see where I, where you know these are going in. It might not, while you're watching it, it might not update. Sometimes to see if they're copying it, I mean, you can watch up here and see where it says two of eight, or you can just go back sometimes and then go forward again, and it will refresh the screen. That's the way mine seems to work anyway. So that's it. Once these are all copied in, I'll be able to open them up in Premiere or iMovie or, um, or you know, what is it? I, Apple has a uh, Final Cut Pro. See, see, like this one just copied, but it's all grayed out, right? But it's legitimately there now. But see how it's gray? It's not, it's not bright like this one. If I go out and come back in, it'll be, that's what I'm talking about. See, see sometimes... The, the video will actually copy, but you won't be able to open it. Like right now, if I want to open this video and see what this is, I don't, know, I don't even know what it is. I think it's where I was maybe doing some cooking last night, and I did a cooking video. Yeah, and I'm showing uh, some, veg some vegetables that I cooked, which I'll be sharing on the video soon. But there you go. Uh, you can open these up, then add them, whatever, whatever your program is to edit. Uh, there, another one just copied. Go out, back in, and it's ready where I can view it. And this is who knows what I'm recording here anyway. Then, of course, once all these are copied off, you might want to just get those all off of your uh, cell phone. Maybe I'll do a separate video that shows you how to delete all those if you don't know already. But uh, once again, I've just got to say, uh, Movie Pro is awesome. Uh, I think Apple caps you out at maybe 80 megs per second when you're recording 4K video. I think you can go up to like 130 megs per second quality. Uh, in 4K when you're using a Movie Pro, and that's why I really like it. And it also gives you way better options for audio. Your audio will sound much better if you use the uh, the Movie Pro software rather than the Apple software. Again, thanks for watching, folks.